Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at this brand new Manageability Commander Web Edition. And the idea is that we're going to rebuild an AMT console entirely in web-based JavaScript. Now, I'm currently running this JavaScript inside Node Web w.js and so this is the kind of the equivalent of a local tool but the same source code could be used inside a web server to manage amt so what we're going to see here is the introduction screen screen we have all the computers that we've entered we can enter them by ip address or by name we can add a computer right here the host name or the ip address the username the password and the security none or tls and um, once you're done with this, you can click OK and the computer will show up here. Now, the other thing you can do is you can filter the computer list. So, for example, if I type 106 or if I type um, 0, 0.0, you can quickly filter the list if you have a lot of computers here. Search the one that you're looking for. And um, you can remove here. If you click remove, you'll say OK if you want to remove. And connect is when we're going to go ahead and do now. So now this web page has all the smarts, uh, Wizman, uh, the remote desktop, serial VLAN, redirect protocol. So all the smarts is written in JavaScript. So this web page is fully capable of talking to AMT directly. In the case of Node.js, uh, it will open TCP connections. But in a case of cloud services, then it would probably open WebSockets, so you would have to change the code a little bit to open WebSockets to a server who would then relay the traffic over to the proper AMT. But in, in the case of Node.js here, uh, because we're running inside a frame that has basically native access, we can open a direct TCP connection. So we have a couple screens here on the left. This is an early version, so more to come. But the first part is the status, and you can see the system is currently on. You can click refresh to refresh this part. You can also click on power action and perform uh, power actions right here. So if you want to reset the computer or so on, you can do it there. Uh, the second screen is probably the most important. This is a full remote desktop, and it is entirely built in JavaScript. Now, the, um, the remote desktop will use the uh, redirection port, so it does not use the, um, the 5900 port. It uses 6994, 6995, connects there, authenticates using the AMT credentials. And uh, you can see it's quite fast. You can also, and right now I'm using TLS, so I'm losing a little bit of speed because I'm using TLS. Without TLS, it would be even faster. You can also click on full here to go full s s window, click back to normal if you want to do that. You can do the power actions right here, so if you want to reset the computer. Um, in settings, you can select the type of encoding you want. The recommended one is LRE16. Uh, one uh, interesting things here to, to note is that uh, the web page does offer or does do full um, decode and decompression of the KVM. So if you go, you can also do raw, like for example, raw 8, and you'll actually see the tiles draw. This is what happens if you don't support compression, or worst yet, uh, raw 16. So this is really no compression at all. But luckily, full the recommended one here has compression, and that's what we're going to use uh, by default. So, but the default is recommended uh, RLE16. But if you want to go faster, you can do LRE8. In that case, you lose color depth, but you double the speed, uh, or a little less than double the speed. A couple of other options. There's a focus tool. Uh, you can show the local mouse cursor or not, and you can show the control and delete button here or not. So we'll leave those all on. The control and delete button, just click on that. There you go. It's very simple. And for the focus button, this is interesting. If you click and say small focus, then only the area in this red box are updated. So this is useful if you're over the internet and you want to cut down traffic or if a lot of screen updates occurring and you, you're not interested in getting like a video playing in a corner, you're just interested in this corner here. Um, instead of getting the video update 
you know, slowing down because this video is playing on this side, you can basically just turn on focus mode and there's uh, three toggles. There's all focus, small and large. And if I do large, you'll notice that now I only see the, the window in the red part. And as I move the, the box around, I'm basically painting a version of the cursor of the screen um, as I'm moving along here. Okay, so that reduces bandwidth. It's useful for some cases. By default, actually, I turned this focus tool off so that you don't actually uh, see it um, or see the button there. Okay, so that's remote desktop. Very nice. Uh, serial over LAN, I can connect to that. And this is the VT100 terminal, same one that you find in Mesh Central. Um, and so I'm using the Mesh agent right now. So there's something uh, on the other side responding to serial over LAN commands. But you can also boot to um, BIOS using serial over LAN, these two options here. And then you'll see the BIOS pop up on the screen. Another thing you can do uh, special keys on the bottom here. You can also paste some text. So if I say hello, say OK, you can see the hello uh, show up here. So that's it, serial over LAN. Hardware information, system, processor, memory, disk, all here. Also the event log. So this is um, this is the log of the uh, Intel AMT events. You can start and stop the log in here. You can clear the log if you want. And you can also filter. So for example, if I type BIOS here, then all the events that have BIOS as a string in there will, will be uh, shown. Or if I type boot or uh, media, there you go. Then there's only three media uh, events. So this is kind of nice to be able to filter and quickly spot the events that you're looking for. Then user accounts. This is allows you to manage user accounts. Um, the uh, here you can, for example, I'll take this test account, hit remove, say OK, and it does the Wizman calls, refreshes the the uh, page. You can also say new account. I'll type test two type in a password, type in a password, and you'll see it says OK here. Um, so if the password is valid uh, and meets the security requirements for AMT, which is right here, then the OK will highlight. And then you can pick your uh, realms. So for example, I can say I want network time, circuit breaker, let's see, redirect, uh, just a couple of things and say OK. And there we go, test two. The user is there. You can at any time you can change it, but you'll have to retype the uh, the password. And you can also click here and see the name, the permissions, and the realms for that user. So that's it, user. Last one is the Wizman browser. This is just for debugging, but I can bas basically pick a bunch of Wizman classes. Say query and it will query all those classes or those objects. You can also filter, for example, if I want event, then it will show me all the classes, uh, all the Wizman objects that are, have the name event in there. And I can just click on the event log, click query, and you'll see the event log show up. So this is especially useful for debugging. And when you're done, you click disconnect and you're back to this window. So that's a quick introduction of the web-based version of Commander. This is an early version and hopefully we'll have many more improvements as we go along. Thank you.